Hey everybody, this is Loro and this is the first video in the Dynamics CRM plugins series. This is a series I've been meaning to do for a long time. I'm very excited about it. It's going to be, it's going to start from real basics. We're going to talk about what plugins are and everything today. And we're going to build up, we're going to talk about more advanced stuff like how to test them or how to write unit tests for them. And we'll be building a actual, an actual practical project um, on Dynamics or on Power Platform model-driven apps. Um, in the upcoming videos and yeah, it's the, it's just going to build up and it's going to be awesome. I know it's going to be awesome because I'm very excited about it. So if you are into Dynamics CRM and would like to learn how to make plugins and how to, and learn about all the infrastructure around them, then I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel, not to miss another video. So without further ado, let's just get started. All right. So let's just get going. So when we're talking about plugins, we need to discuss first where they will live. And of course we're talking about Dynamics CRM here. So they will live inside this, this Dynamics CRM. And and it will do plugins will will, will perform um, various tasks will enforce business rules will, will change the data will enable some integrations plugins can do a lot of stuff and it can do they can do um things within these entities um but first maybe let's discuss a bit about this discrepancy um, of, of names. So we have on one side we have let me just well, not, not the right tool uh so yeah um we're talking about Dynamics CRM CE here. So that's customer engagement or CRM as it was called in the past. And we also have a very similar pro product called the model driven power apps. And now what's the deal? What's the difference between these two? Now, not a lot actually. So the underlying technology that powers both systems is the same. It's nowadays it's called Dataverse. It used to be called Common Data Service for a little for a little bit, uh, and in the past this was just Dynamics CRM. Actually, uh, it was customer engagement for a long time. But anyway, so Dynamics CRM or CE customer engagement um, and model driven apps. These all use what's called Dataverse, and as we already discussed, Dataverse is all built around entities. Entities are accounts, leads, contacts, opportunities. They are your custom entities. If you have newsletter subscriptions, if you have, I don't know what, what you have, but yeah, entities. It's all about entities. Believe me when I say that inside Dynamics, everything is, every single thing is stored somewhere within one entity or another. So when, let's say when it comes to, you will be surprised how much of this data is actually stored within within these entities. So we have basic records like accounts and contacts. That's that's clear. That's an entity. That's a separate table in the database. But then we have some system specifics like forms. When you open an entity form, when you want to create a new record or edit a record, that's also stored in an entity. It, there's a special entity called system form, and within that form you have XML and JSON definitions for for these forms. So everything is stored within these entities. So a common logic can be used to apply business rules to any entity within the system. You just need to find the right entity to, to apply the logic to. And when we're talking about business logic, we are talking about plugins. And there's another one here, here at the bottom. So you can attach plugins to the entities and plugins are nothing else but uh, some, 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 yeah, I, I will spoil, spoil the secret the secret if I said it, but I will just say say it anyway. So they are they are kind of they process events, they process messages, and there is a little message here called create. And yeah, what what, what what's all this about? So let's move a bit to the side here, and let's imagine a very simple scenario when you want to create a new account or create. Let's even better, you want to create a new contact. And on this contact, you want to ensure that first name and last name are always capitalized. And you also want to populate a new field called full name. Um, it's a special field. It's, it's, it, was, it, it's, it was decided to be that way. Let's, let's just say, I know it's a boring example. More, we'll come to, to, to more interesting ones, but let's just focus on this, on this full name here. So um, your Chrome your, your, or, or Firefox or whatever you use, sends a message. A message is is basically just, and I have a better picture here, I believe. Yeah, like this. Okay. So um, 
you open a form in Dynamics, you go to Dynamics, you go to the Accounts form, you click on New, and then you have all these fields and you enter your data and you enter first name, last name, all the details. And then you click on Save, and this is where the real magic happens. So when you click Save, Chrome takes in all the data that you put into the fields, packs it into something, in, into, this, into this nice letter here that we have, and it sends it to Dynamics. It puts it into this nice little envelope, and I'm really proud of that picture. And when we're talking about about um, the, this 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 stuff here, that the the data that that was sent to Dynamics, uh, this is called a target. That'll uh, become very important later. Uh, so maybe just remember that, or forget it. Uh, you'll hear it a lot. So. And now that we have this message, so here's a little timeline. Um, here we, we, we send a message. Your Chrome sends a message to Dynamics. So message sent. And then there is a little secret block that we'll uncover just in a second. But um, let's say nothing else is scheduled for, for, for these contacts or accounts. Um, and the message passes all through all these stages. And then we have a stage called Operation silly name <laughs> but this is where where the data actually gets stored inside the database but before the data is actually stored in the database you can you can do a whole lot with it before so in in this there, there's a stage called pre-operation um, and within this stage you guessed it you can register plugins plugins are simple pieces of code that you can register on these these messages so we already discussed this create message Create is just one of these. So you have create, you have update. When you update a field on the form and press on save, this also generates a message. It sends it towards Dataverse and then it gets it gets processed in the way. So, and in this pre-operation, what you can do is you can write plugins for the, the, that, that process this data. So we have we have this envelope here, and what plugins allow you and us to do is to take this to take this target and manipulate the data that's within the the, the the target so what we can do is we can take the first name and just capitalize it with a single piece of code a single line of code then the same for the last name and the last thing we can do is we can assign a new value to the field we just created which is called full name and we can just stick this this first name and last name together and store it in the in the target and that way, that dataverse, so the database wouldn't be aware that that there was something else before that that the full name was not really filled in in the beginning. To the dataverse, it will appear as if the the, the full name has been there altogether all along. So, yeah, um, when the data is then actually stored in the database during the operation stage, um, the, the the data that will actually get stored in the database is the data that, that the plugins kind of returned. Um, so you can manipulate the data before it gets written to the database. And uh, you guessed it, you can also do that, that post-operation thing, which we'll discuss uh, just in a second, or let's discuss it now. So after the, the, um, the dataverse saves the record, um, an important step occurs. And this step is that the record gets its ID. So before here, we're just talking about the target, we're talking about the fields, but we don't have the actual record, we don't have the actual record ID. And in this stage, after the operation, we have this ID. And now we can do a whole much more stuff with it. So now we have we have this we have this entity, we have this record. And now we can, let's say, if we're creating a contact and we have specific rules which account to associate this new account, this new contact with. We can take this ID and process it in another plugin, but not, not in this plugin, but yeah, actually in this plugin, yeah. So we can have another plugin that would take this record ID and say, okay, um, I will search for an account to associate this contact with. And then I will send a new message, which will go through this, through this whole procedure here again. It will arrive here, a new message will get sent. And um, this message will be will be update, and um, we will update the account. We will. Uh, <laughs> this was this was sorry. 
this this was this was a mistake so we can update the contact again here now that we have the id we can also now that i'm thinking about it this is actually a really stupid example but i hope you get the idea so <laughs> here is the the record id um and you can do uh, so before that before the actual operation before the record gets stored in the database you don't have this ID, you don't have the record, so you first need to create it in order to associate it with, with, with other records and uh, process it further. And that's actually everything I wanted to tell you about the plugins today. Let's not go too deep right now so that I don't lose your focus. It, this session is already long. So yeah, in the upcoming videos, what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you how to prepare all this infrastructure to, to, to build the plugins uh, yourself. So we'll discuss how to set up Visual Studio to, to make the plugins. Um, we'll discuss coding. We will um, be registering these plugins. Um, there's a nice little Chrome extension which allows you to um, check the names of the fields so that you're not uh, so confused when you're, when you're actually writing the code to manipulate these fields. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I want to cover and it's going to be amazing because I, I know it. Um, so if you're interested in these kind of videos, if this was interesting to you, do let me know, do um, leave down a comment or just like the video um, and subscribe to this channel. That always helps. So yeah, um, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.